case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1988, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit heard the case of Elliott Associates v. J. Henry Schroeder Bank and Trust Company. The case questioned whether a trustee is only required to act in accordance with the terms of the indenture agreement, without an implicit duty to secure greater benefits for debenture holders. Elliott Associates, a debenture holder, sued trustee J. Henry Schroeder Bank and Trust Company for waiving a 50-day notice period before the redemption of debentures, without considering the financial interests of the debenture holders. Elliott argued that this waiver was a breach of the trustee's duties under the Trust Indenture Act of 1939 and state law. However, the court dismissed the case, stating that the trustee's obligations were defined by the terms of the indenture and had the authority to accept a shorter notice period if deemed satisfactory. Additionally, the court found no conflict of interest or personal gain by the trustee in waiving the notice period. The court upheld the district court's decision, as the trustee did not violate any explicit duties, and their responsibilities were limited to the indenture's terms. The court also affirmed the dismissal of Schroeder and Centronic's counterclaims for costs and attorney's fees. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.